Roseman University of Health Sciences is offering a new program that's the first of its kind in Nevada. It's the Doctor of Nursing Practice in Nurse Anesthesia program, and it's answering the national demand for certified registered nurse anesthesiists. Yep, and applications, thesis, applications are, are being, being accepted, accepted now. Yeah. <laughs> Joining us now from Rosen University are Dr. Brian Oxhorn and Dr. Nate Apatov. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you for having Hi us. Hi there. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Yes. Well, we know that Roseman is always on the cutting edge of innovative programs. So talk to us about what this latest program is. So this latest program is a doctoral level uh, nursing program uh, to train nurses to be nurse anesthetists. So these are also known as CRNAs or Certified Registered Nurse Anesthetists and they do exactly what it sounds like they do is they provide anesthesia for patients during surgical or any type of procedures that requires that type of sedation. Isn't that something that would normally in the past have been taken care of by a, you know, an anesthesiologist? Is this a new position? I would call it normally. So okay. it is not a new profession. In fact, nurses have been administering anesthesia since the late 1800s. Uh, Sister Mary Bernard and Alice McGraw are some of the earlier uh, pioneers in that field. By the mid 19 or 20th century, uh, it became a recognized profession with certification, we had an organization, schools started to have to be recredited, and the educational requirements have slowly increased to the doctoral level here in the, in the 21st century. I love the history lesson there too. Yeah. Real quick. That's great, I love it. <laughs> yeah, so what is sort of the job scope for CRNAs? So Dr. Apatow is the CRNA, so I'll let him answer that one. We do everything. We see patients preoperatively, we take health histories, we do a physical assessment, we then put them to sleep safely, confidently, wake them up, and take them to the recovery room after their surgery for them to recover and go home and be better than when they walked in the door. So it's, it's, you're the first one offering, offering this program uh, at the state level. So what's the hope for the, for the DNPNA program? Well, our hope is that we help contribute to the shortage in this local region. I mean, there's a, there's a tremendous shortage of many healthcare disciplines. Nurse anesthesia, or anesthesia is, is one of the larger ones. And so by bringing in graduates who, or students who are going to stay here for three years, do all of their clinical rotations primarily in the Las Vegas Valley, that they'll stay afterwards and practice and provide anesthetic services. There's a nationwide so shortage. So definitely yeah. needed. Yeah. There's a big need. Particularly in this area, and we're hoping to fill that need qualified people from the local environs that are going to stay here after they train at Roseman. I mean, is there, is there a reason why there's, why there's such a, a shortage in, this, in the, just this area? Or is it nation nation or so? Nationwide, the, the job market has exploded over the last five years or so, and salaries have exploded over the last, last five years or so. So it's a, it's a great profession. It's the best profession in nursing. Now, with this program, what are the admission requirements? So first of all, you have to be a nurse. <laughs> And you have to have a bachelor's degree, but your bachelor's degree may not be in nursing. It could have been in a biology or some other bachelor's of science degree. You have to be an ICU nurse, so that's critical. Career planning, if you want to be a nurse anesthetist and you're a student now in a program, you have to start thinking about what is my career trajectory to, to get me qualified for this. Um, and uh, what other things would you say? Do you have to be have an unencumbered nursing license and be able to be a nurse, licensed nurse in the state of Nevada? You have to have a high science GPA. You have to um, be able to take three years off of your life and earn a doctoral level degree. And it's pretty daunting. So you have to be at the top of your game. You've got to have at least one year of experience as an intensive care nurse. Uh, you've got to be the best. And if you're the best, we want you. Well, if there's anyone at home watching, a viewer who's, uh, you know, a practicing nurse, has those qualifications, or is looking to change career path, where's the best place for them to get more information, to, you know, pamphlets, those kind of things? Yeah, nursing.roseman.edu is the place to go. Perfect. We have all the information you need. We can connect you with the advisor. We do informational webinars uh, periodically that you'll be seeing being announced, and uh, you get all the information you need for the next steps. Wonderful. So. Dr. Apatow, what would you say to someone maybe considering this career? I'd say to them, when you're in school, <laughs> Get <A's. laughs> That's a, a good advice for, for anyone in any field, and we apologize for yes. any technical difficulties you're hearing at home. For more information on the new program and to apply, head to roseman.edu. If you apply by June 1st, you'll be in class by July.